everybody, this is Didringer64 and welcome to another reaction video. So today I'm going to be reacting to Friendship is for Adults by The Cantalot. So I did a reaction to Scooter Tricks the Abridged a while back and I found out that they're going to be doing some kind of crossover with this series and I really just wanted to see what this series is all about. It looks interesting to say the least and <laughs> I'm looking forward to it in a way. Um, it's not a fan animation, kind of like in the style of Scooter Tricks, I guess, but we'll see. So, let's get right into this. Three, two, one. The following is a non-profit fan-based parody. My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is property of Hasbro Studios Inc. and DHX Media. Please support the official release. Okay. Once upon a time. A time ago, in a galaxy far, far away. <laughs> no, that's not right, is it? All right, um... <clears throat> Once upon a time in the magical land of Skyrim... <laughs> Wait, how about... Not so long ago... In the mystical land of Toronto, Canada... Scott Pilgrim was dating a... Okay. You know what? Forget it. You <laughs> the idea, damn! Somewhere you don't know... Somewhere you don't belong to... Great, now I can't remember what the hell I was talking about. <laughs> Son of a... Oh, yeah! Nightmare Moon. She's big, bad, and a total bitch. One thousandth year of the Summer Sun celebration. Blah, 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 blah. blah. Yada, 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 yada. Whatever. The stars will aid in her escape. Who the hell wrote this garbage? How did this even get published? Stars will aid in her escape, huh? Okay. I like this. Oh wow, this is cool. Oh, this is really cool. The Cantalot. Okay. I like that. Hey Twilight, what's up? Gotta focus. Evil's not going to do itself. Hey Twilight, piss off! <laughs> the version you didn't ask for, part one. Spike! Spike! Spike? What are you doing? Get off your lazy butt and get back to work! What's wrong with your tail? That voodoo doll is finally linked to Celestia, but... Oh, Spike. You know I can't speak dragon. But I only know pony! No, 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 no! Ugh! Book slave! Yes, Miss Twilight? <laughs> Whoa! Nightmare Moon. M M. Yes! Wait, no. Where is it? Nightmare Moon? Wouldn't that be under N? Of course! It's under <laughs> N! I'm a genius! Genius, my ass. Ah! Oof! I don't know what you said, but it sounded punishable. Now, right! Yes, Miss Twilight. What up, Molestia? Lol. But seriously. <laughs> stumbled upon some important shiznit regarding this evil pony, and I am requesting permission to travel to her point of arrival to combat the threat. Come on, Twilight. You don't seriously think she's gonna buy that crap, do you? What? I know you can understand me. Come again? Ugh, Spike, as God is my witness, you will learn to speak. For you see, using the very limited knowledge I have at my disposal, I have somehow calculated that Nightmare Moon will be arriving in Ponyville, and I feel it is my duty to risk my life for Equestria. Now I know we've had our disagreements in the past, but I swear I am being totally honest with you. I have absolutely no ulterior motives whatsoever. Nope, not me. I would never That's a lie. try to overthrow you again. Release Spike from my service. Got it. Are you done yet? Are you sure you want to do this, Twilight? Princess Celestia is not as stupid as you think. 
She doesn't trust you as it is, and just imagine what she'll do to you if you get caught. Why is that letter still in your hand? I heard your quill stop scratching, so it must be finished. And yet there it is. Still here with us. Are you trying to upset me, Spike? Huh? Is that what's up? Or are you just really that slow? But why? Uh, I'm only trying to help. Ah! Don't hurt oh. me. Oh. There. It's all done. Just please calm down. Oh my. Sometimes my genius even amazes myself. You should never forget how lucky you are, Spike. Ponies would kill to be under the service of a mistress as perfect as me. Well, it's about friggin' time she wrote back. My reluctant, most precious student, Twilight. I really appreciate the help, but I'm afraid that I must decline. Though my passion for you burns like the sun, I'm just not ready to put my trust into you again. Love, sweet C. Oh, sure. Now you understand me. You know, that message isn't the only thing Celestia sent in her letter. There's a bunch of romantic nonsense, too. It looks like there's a couple of poems, a haiku about your mane. Ah, check out the picture she drew. Hey, it looks like she even included a photograph. Uh huh? What's this of? Uh, ew! Ugh, I feel awful. Airsick, huh? Well, what did you expect? When you do things like steal a chariot and leave Canterlot without permission, it comes back to bite you. Spike, whatever you're saying, shut up. Yes, <laughs> we're almost there. Now watch and be amazed as I gather up ponies to help me assist in Nightmare Moon's resurrection! Are you sure it's a good idea to be bouncing around when you're just holding back vomit? Uh-oh. <laughs> if you say a word of this to Celeste, I will make your lives hell. A uh, bye bye now! I hope you intend to follow through with this one and not pussy out like you did with all your other evil plans. Alright, Twilight. Time to put up or shut up. Uh... Hello? I'm here, Pony! What the hell? Did I miss something? Ugh. According to this, we can find a whole family of Nightmare Moon cult this. Oh, what are they gonna do with Applejack? It just had to be apples, didn't it? Hi, my name is... <laughs> And I well, how to do, Miss Twilight? The name's Applejack. I sell apples and apple accessories. What's an apple accessory? You know, stuff like USB cables, headphones, speakers. Yeah, I think you're confusing your products with some pony else's. You should talk about this <laughs> before you get sued. So, what can I do you for? I understand that you belong to the prestigious Apple chapter of the Nightmare Moon cult. May the land be plunged into eternal darkness for the rest of its days. Would you like to meet the rest of the family? Well, I suppose I should see what I'm working with. Okay. Apple family, assemble! <laughs> now for the ceremonial introduction feast. <gasps> Wait, why? That's stupid. This here's Bill, Boomhauer, Peggy, Bobby, Luann, Connie, <laughs> Big Macintosh, Apple Bloom, and the pony that taught me everything I know, Granny Smith. What? Uh -huh. Whatever it is, I swear I didn't do it. Now, as soon as you're finished eating all of our apple lessons, we can help you welcome back Nightmare Moon. Okay, well, now that I think about it, maybe Spike and I would be better doing this solo. You're not gonna let us help you with the wet dog queen? Sorry. But managing you all is just more than I want to do. Aww. Hell. Damn it. Oh, why? She stay. Woohoo! Yay! 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 Oh, wow. Yay! Yay! Oh, I hate apples. At least it's a nice day and I can get some exercise. Now for Rainbow Dash. The mud's not bad. Kinda cute. Now let me see how you look soaking wet. Aw oh, yeah, baby. Dashy like. <laughs> what the hell are you doing to me? Stop it. My very own patented brain blow job. Guaranteed to make your mane stand on end. Okay. 
Did any pony ever tell you no means no? I'm <laughs> <laughs> not gonna keep you safe from Rainbow Dash. I take what I want. What are you? A lesbian? <laughs> not just a lesbian. The lesbian. <laughs> really? I know you from going there? I used to be a member of the Wonderbolts until I got kicked out. The Wonderbolts? Okay. The most talented flyers in all of Equestria? Pfft, I call BS. I was so. The only reason I'm not in anymore is because Spitfire won't come out of the damn closet. It's not so bad, though. I like it here in Ponyville. Wooing all these small town mares, just like I did with you. You didn't woo me. All right, that may be a stretch, but I could. I could make you fall head over hoofs for me in ten seconds flat. Prove it. Better close your mouth, babe, before you start catching flies. Hello? Any pony home? <laughs> really? Oh my goodness. Well, it's been fun, sweetheart, but I've got other mirrors to see. Don't worry, baby. I'll be back. Twilight, are you okay? Wasn't I wearing pants before that? No, you don't normally wear clothes. Th that's right. I... and then... yeah. Come on, Twy. Let's get back to work. Was there any point to this scene? Nope. <laughs> I'm completely okay with it. Me too, Twilight. For some reason. Spike, please explain. How are they gonna handle rarity? How did we end up here? Well, the first place was an apple farm, A, and this place is a boutique, B. It made sense when I was writing it. Think of a goddess. Thank goodness you're here, my soft spoken sex machine. I've been waiting all day for your arrival. Now, how about you throw on my saddle and ride me until I can't walk straight? <laughs> you're not Fluttershy. No! No, oh. you're not. Am I interrupting? Okay. Well, I just tell you what. How about I give you some free merchandise and you forget everything you just heard? What? No, I don't want your stupid lingerie. No, no, nah. -uh. Too American, too British, too Hispanic, too Southern, too French, too Dyke. Oh, that's perfect. Now, why did you stop by? I'm recruiting ponies to resurrect Nightmare Moon. Nightmare Moon! I've read all about her. The strength, the potential to dominate. I've always dreamed of having her as a lover. It just so happens that the pony I was waiting for is a huge NM supporter, too. She spends most of her time teaching birds to sing depressing songs. Wait right here. I'll get you some directions to where she might be. You get the directions. I'm getting the hell out of here before this gets any weirder. According to Rarity's map, she should be right through this clearing. Why, um, please stop everyone. You, you're blue. I hate the color blue. Oh, the irony that I must see the world through eyes I despise. Hello! Ah! Hi there. I'm looking for ponies to help me with Nightmare Moon's resurrection. Rarity told me that you were the pony to see. Awkward Twilight Fluttershy interaction. I'm Twilight Sparkle. Now you say something. Uh, I'm Fluttershy. Are you the right pony? Yes. I'd like to help. Do you even know Rarity? Okay, well, thanks anyway. It's been... interesting. That freaking wannabe marshmallow lied to us, Spike! A baby dragon! Finally, a creature with enough dark potential to match my own. I bet you're just bursting with diabolic thoughts. Well, I don't like to brag. Oh, wow. <laughs> Two. 
that will make everything much easier. Wait, you can understand him? So please, little destroyer, share with me some of your schemes. Well, I've always thought it would be pretty get cool. Get this though. straight. She can't understand anything you're saying. That's what she says. But I think twice you're screwing with me. Because sometimes she'll answer me, and it's like she's forgotten that she's not supposed to be able to understand what I'm saying. I think she's also got other ponies in on it. Wow, she sounds like a total bitch. Well, here's where we're staying. So whatever <laughs> conversation you two are having is going to have to end. Doesn't some pony are on Spike? So far, I hate every single pony in this town. Thanks, Celestia, that the ponies that own this house are gone. What the hell is that noise? Go! Hi! I'm Pinkie Pie! Are you here for the CPE meeting? The what? The Christian ponies of Equestria, silly! No, I'm, a uh, house-sitting. While the pears are away. Their house is next door! Plus, they've been back for a week! <laughs> This is the town library, but since I burned all the books in the name of the cross, every pony uses this place as they want. Then what's up with the ones on the shelf? Perfect. I mean, I was sent by the princess to use this facility for important Canterlot stuff. Really? That's so cool! So, you and your friends need to leave. But we were using the library first. But, my business is much more important. Let me see some documentation confirming that, and we'll be happy to leave. God damn it, Pinky. I didn't recognize you earlier, so I figured you weren't a member because I know every pony in the CP. Oh my gosh, you should totally join our chapter. Are you Christian? Oh, I hope you are. But I hate to think that your soul has been damned to hell for all eternity just because you accidentally picked the wrong God. Besides, you don't want to be left out, do you? Look, we're all members. It's awesome, ain't it, girl? Oh shit, don't. No. Never mind. You gotta help me. These stupid CPE members won't leave and they keep trying to get me to play the Jesus in their crucifixion game. Spike, I swear, nothing they're about to do could possibly be worse than what I'm gonna do to you if you don't leave me alone so I can think! Fine, guess I'll just have to go down there and tell them how much you wanna play. This mission isn't going as planned at all. Maybe Spike's right. Maybe my schemes really do suck. I wonder if Celestia will let me stay in Canterlot if I beg pathetically enough. <laughs> Nightmare Moon, please be real. I want to serve under some pony who understands my needs. Celestia would never allow me to rule over the rest of these pathetic ponies with an iron hoof. Twilight, come on. We're all going to Town Hall to wait for Nightmare Moon. What do you mean, we're all? Apple pony you talked to maybe kind of spread the news about her return. <sighs> <laughs> this is why I hate the apples. Oh, Applejack. Thanks to an anonymous Applejack, we have been informed that the pony is going to be arriving at this very spot shortly. So, the plan is when she gets here, every pony jump in and curb stomp that bitch. Let yeah, we'll show her. Her. Let's Let's go go up, pull you. Okay, on the count of three. One, two, three! <gasps> Sorry, guys. Where False alarm. No. Look! <laughs> What's up, guys? Just dropping in to say hey. <laughs> really? Person prison. I planned on really fucking shit up when I got back, but that was like a thousand years ago. I mean, time can really change a pony, and world domination is totally a young mare's game. So if you guys don't mind, I'm just gonna hit up the old homestead. I'm sure I'll be back to running my intergalactic empire by tomorrow, but I figure I might as well see what's changed while I'm down here. Nightmare Moon, I pledge my full allegiance to you. And I promise to serve as your right hoof mayor for as long as it takes until you are supreme ruler of Equestria. Whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> what? Did you not hear me? I said I'm not interested in that kind of stuff anymore. But, but. It's not you. Like I'm sure you'd make a great evil hench pony and whatever. There's just no reason for me to try and overthrow Celestia, dude. There's really nothing for me to gain by staying here. The only thing that could happen is I could lose everything I've worked for. Don't you dare try to pull this shit with me, you ancient bitch! I will end you! 
Yikes, you mad bro? <laughs> Anyways, psycho pony aside, I'm a bounce. It's been fun seeing y'all. I'll have to drop back by sometime. Bye! Is that it, really? <laughs> well... Yeah, it's definitely the version I never asked for. That was cool. The following is a non All right. fan based parody. My little Episode two. This magic is property of Hasbro Studios Inc. and DHX Media. Please support the official release. Previously on My Little Pony. Nightmare Moon. M M. Yes. Wait, no. Wouldn't that be under N? Well, it's about friggin' time she wrote back. I really appreciate the help, but I'm afraid that I must decline. I heard she's crazy though. Serene one moment and then a raven lunatic the next. <sighs> like anyone could even know that. Hey, that's just what I heard. Eh, how bad can she be? Nightmare Moon. Please be real. Don't you dare try to pull this shit with me, you ancient bitch! I will end you! It's been fun seeing y'all. I'll have to drop back by sometime. Okay. Well, this is interesting. This nice intro music is really nice, so... Did you miss me? I told you I'd be back. How'd you get in here? <laughs> so what's this I'm hearing about you wanting to help Nightmare Moon? Did you think you could just leave me out? Whoa! <laughs> cool it, Thunder Thighs. Now she's not gonna help us with you badgering her like that. Now, Twilight, we all just want the same thing as you do. So just tell us how we can help. Really? All of you want to resurrect Nightmare Moon? Even the goody four shoes pink one? Of course I do! The Bible I read doesn't say anything about Princess Celestia, and it's about time that false god be put out of power! Found a map to the castle! How did you find that? I used the Dewey Decimal System! Oh. Nightmare Moon, the Dark Princess Pokemon. Having been banished from <laughs> nearly a millennia ago, she has since done quite nicely for herself as queen of an evil intergalactic empire. As no pony exists other than Celestia, strong enough to challenge her. In the event that she does return to Equestria as she swore, it is most likely that she will have abandoned her aspirations to conquer us, and will return to her ancient castle of the Royal Pony Sisters, deep within the confines of... The Ivory Forest! Wait, how did we get here? Whee! Time to welcome back the Dark Master! Not so fast! How could I be sure that you guys won't just try and weasel your way above me once we're her hench ponies? Is no pony gonna answer me? Oh, calm down. None of us are gonna try and gain favor over you. You freaking better not! Don't forget that I'm head Stop hench pony. Stop ignoring me. Hmm. You guys are dicks. <laughs> Poor Fluttershy. Been in here before? Oh, heavens no. I mean, it's a whole five minutes away from Ponyville. If I'm gonna walk that far, I'm not going into some stinking forest. And it ain't natural. Folks say it's so topsy-turvy the very ground is prone to fall right out under your hooves. What's that supposed to mean? Basically, it's like a night with me. After I've got some drinks in you and I've got you in bed. Rainbow, gross! And I'm sliding in nice and slow. Next thing you know, BAM! Orgasm! Oh! Oh! Fluttershy, quick! I'll help Rarity. The rest are on their own. Oh! Jesus, baby! <laughs> Ah! 
Hold on, I'm a coming. Help me, you stupid hit. Stupid hit. Fuck you, Applejack. I hate the apples. I'm Twilight Spark. How about you help yourself, you bitch? What? I mean, uh, let go. I'm sorry. I wasn't aware that I looked like an idiot. Now listen here. What I'm saying to you is the honest truth. Now hurry up and drop your death, you what? nothing. Now let go before I drop your ass. Dude, hold her. I need your help. I already said I only need like help rarity. Next time. Too damn bad. Help me. Whatever. This isn't what I agreed to. I need some pony who's emotionally satisfying too. Like, some pony that looks up to me. And is smart, but not smarter than me, because that'd make me feel intimidated. Well, I'm smarter than you, so that rules me out. <sighs> Sweet lord, a manticore! Hey, do you guys need help finding that man Moon's castle? Kill him! <laughs> Take that, you bastard! Ow! I'm gonna gut your jerks and drink your blood! Oh, Stop it! Look! There's obviously been a serious misunderstanding! We've all said some things we regret- Rarity, yeah. fuck you up! Stop it! Rarity, kick! Just let me- Rarity, kill! Please! No more! Rarity, KO! Rarity, kick! Rarity ain't gonna take your shit! Rarity, kick! Rarity's the winner! Something about this seems... <laughs> really non-canon. Oh, man! Yeah... Anyone who missed that song is gonna regret it for the rest of their lives! I can't believe how cleverly we managed to parody it! That might have been better in the canon version! Forget the canon version! Exercise the Demons is the new canon! Oh, we missed the song. Nothing about this is gonna be easy, is it? Huh? <laughs> What's with the crying jerk? Stephen Magnet? I apologize for blocking your way, girls. You see, my mother passed away earlier today, and we were very close. I, I, I just need a minute to myself, and then I promise I'll get right out of your way. Can you believe this selfish prick? Hey, move it, asshole! We all got problems, crybaby. You don't see us crying about him. What is wrong with you girls? Don't worry, girls. I've got this. Oh, what did you do that for? No, wait. Buttershy, you're white. I'll move now. I'll move. Oh dear. Again, Rarity? Are you all murdered out yet? Murdered out? Who oh, heavens no, never. Now come along. We could use his carcass as a bridge. I think I'd feel better just walking around him. Oh, nonsense, darling. What's Stephen Magnet? You will be crossing on him. <laughs> no! We were so close! Uh, Twilight? Why did we have to get this close just to fail? Twilight? Damn you, Bridge! Celestia, damn your rotten boards to hell! Twilight! What? I can fix the bridge. Chill. You do that for me? Sure. I've always wanted to build a bridge. And even if it turns out poorly built and we're the only ones that cross it, I'll still be happy. Spitfire? Sup, Dash? Whoa! Hey, two ponies aren't Spitfire. And an extra special hey to a certain some pony else. Knock it off, Dash. What's with the crazy get up? D did you dye your coat? It's Bizarro Week. Dude, Ugh, you know that. Damn it, I'm missing Bizarro Week. I mean, yeah, I would know that if you hadn't thrown such a bitch fit. You are way out of line. That was sexual harassment, and you know it. It ain't harassment if you want it. I told you no. Listen, Spit, you can lie to every pony else. Hell, you can even lie to yourself, but you can't lie to me. I know when some pony wants to taste the rainbow, and you can't taste the <laughs> No, I don't! Look me in the eyes and say that! I don't swing that way, Dash! Not even if you are cute! Well, gorgeous, really. But looks will only go so far! We're just too different! Even if you do have everything that I've been looking for in a stallion. Yep. And you're probably a terrific lover. Oh, yeah. 
And that kiss was pretty breathtaking. What was that last part? Never mind that last part. I'm not here to become your mate. Mm. Then why the hell are you here? And what's with those fags? How can you call them? Never mind. Look, we want you back in the group. But first, we need to set some ground rules. That's why I brought my lawyers along. You're ambushing me with your legal team? You asshole. Dude, we're waiting on you! Hmm? Don't think of it as an ambush. Think of it as a negotiation. Just come with us, agree to the terms, sign some paperwork, and you can go back to being captain. And what if I refuse? Then you can just forget about coming back. <clears throat> don't make this hard on yourself. Just go and get your legal rep. Oh, wait! You don't have any, do you? Oh, well, looks like you'll just have to sign away. Actually, I do have my lawyer with me. What? Yeah, you see that white unicorn over there? She's my lawyer, and she pushes a hard bargain. Well, I think she's a butcher first, but she'll totally defend me. Butcher? Yep. You should have seen the way she butchered that manicure on the way here. And that gay water thing. <laughs> gay water thing. Oh, you don't believe me? Then by all means, feel free to call my bluff. Stay here. I'll be right back with you. Your bridge is kind of long and shitty. Yeah? Well, your bridge is kind of shut up and fuck you! Friendship is definitely for adults. Now why are we stopping here again? Change of plans. Instead of trying to convince Nightmare Moon to let us join her, she can join us or die! Now grab those rocks! How are these gonna help us defeat Nightmare? What are they anyway? The element of disharmony by Nightmare Moon before her banishment. In our who, they'll amplify our own natural traits and make ruling Equestria a cinch. And just what are our natural traits? I've been thinking it over, and I'm pretty sure Fluttershy represents narcissism, Pinky deception, <laughs> Rarity bloodshed, and age is <laughs> marketing and sex appeal? Marketing and sex appeal? How's that gonna help us? Are you kidding? We'll need both of those if we want to get a dedicated army of followers. So, what are you supposed to be? I'm the one that brings you all together and fires these puppies up. What's a group of cronies without a badass visionary of a leader? Now stand back. I'm gonna ignite these and we'll go kick some intergalactic princess ass. Intermission. <laughs> Applejack, Applejack. Product placement with Applejack. My hooves look like marshmallows. I've chosen to take over your pathetic land. Rarity, how about you and I go to the back of the theater and have <laughs> We should return to the episode now! Eh, I'm just a pony too. <laughs> okay. You ungrateful bastards! This is the thanks I get after all I've done for you?! I knew you weren't routine maintenance, I just knew it, but oh no! Stupid me to fall for your little tricks, hook, line, and sinker. I take you guys in, make you dinner, entertain you with amusing stories of my travels across the galaxy, and how do you repay me? First of all, you guys made complete pigs out of yourselves at dinner. Then, after you've had your fill of my wine and dine, you smash my TV, wreck my couch, completely desecrate my ancestral home, attack me, and come to think about it, I haven't seen my pets since earlier this evening! I swear to God, if you did anything to- I mean, why in the fuck did you think the elements would work against me? I made them! Why would I create a weapon that powerful if it could be used against me? Alright, so we may have taken advantage of you and tried to kill you. What's your point? It's not like you were doing anything interesting anyway. My, po my point?! My point is that I'm gonna fucking murder you, retards. But oh. I'm not just gonna murder you. No, no, no. Before I'm done with you, you all will be begging for that sweet embrace. What is that? <laughs> Where do the rainbows come from? Okay. Twilight Sparkle. Oh my god. Uh, Celestia. Uh, hey. This totally isn't what it looks like. I mean, sure, I'm here. But it's not my fault. I was staying put at Kenarod like you told me to. When, uh, when... It's all Spike's fault, that son of a bitch! I told him no, but he insisted on going. 
He was just too much, and I couldn't overpower him. It's all right, Twilight. It is? You mean you weren't mad? Of course not. I shouldn't have ignored your warning. I'm just thankful I was able to get here in time. If you guys hadn't subdued Nightmare Moon, who knows how much damage she would have done. Subdued? Oh, you don't have to be modest, Twilight. I can tell you guys are in for the fight of your lives. Doing everything in your power to keep Equestria and your princess safe. Yes. That is exactly what was going on here. And as for you, do you swear to give up your reign of evil and repent for your sins against Pony Kind? Who are you? Who am I? I don't know what's going on. I'm scared. Apology accepted. So, <laughs> really just got away with this? Hey, you know what this calls for? A baptism! <laughs> okay, this is weird, but, um, weird. Oh, Twilight, a face as beautiful as yours should never have to wear a frown. What's wrong? All my life I've searched for ponies whose interests were relevant to my own. And now that I've found them, I have to go. You're talking about keeping Equestria safe and under my merciful rule, right? Yes. It just sucks that I have to go home, you know? You silly filly. Who said anything about you returning home? Wait, what? You disobeyed a direct order from your queen. You have to be punished a little. But uh, I thought you... You said you weren't mad! I'm not. I don't want a revolution on my hooves. But, 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 Spike, take a note, please. I, Princess Celestia, hereby decree that the unicorn Twilight Sparkle, wink, wink, shall be placed under temporary banishment and may not journey outside of Ponyville without my permission or suffer the consequences. But I, no! <laughs> okay. That was cool. Um... Very, very weird, but cool. Again, like I said, friendship is definitely for adults. Okay, so that was Friendship for Adults, the first two episodes. What I think I might do is I'll start alternating between Scooter Tricks and this until we get to, like, the crossover between them. Um, just to even it out, but, yeah, I really enjoyed that. Um, again, definitely for adults, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Uh, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.